In this lesson, we're going to look at multiple linear regression. When creating a linear regression model, we use the equation y is equal to beta naught plus beta times x. And in this case, x is our independent variable. And y is our dependent variable. The b naught is that is our that is our y intercept where we would touch the y axis. Now we want to use a subscript or not a subscript, a superscript i, and the i's represent the observation. So when we're looking at i here and here, each i is incrementing starting with your one, so i could would equal one, two, three, and each one represents an observation which is represented by a data point. Okay, now this is when we have only one independent variable. What I'd like to re consider is linear regression when with multiple independent variables. Let's take a look at that. Let's look at linear regression with multiple independent variables. So let's imagine we have a set of independent variables and we'll say they're x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, and so forth, where each one of these represents a different domain or different set of independent variables. So let's imagine that y represents height. And we could say height of a person, for example. And so our first independent variable could represent the person's age. And our second independent variable could represent the person's gender. And our third independent variable could represent the person's country of origin and so forth. Now we could create separate linear regression models where we could say for each observation of age, and we would not include gender or country, we could say the height y is equal to some b naught y-intercept plus some coefficient beta times x sub 1, and we would do it for each point, each observation. So we would have a set of many ages, different ages, and for each different age observation, we would have a height using this equation. Now imagine that we did another one, a separate one, for gender. Y sub i is equal to b naught plus beta times x sub 2i. Now in this equation, this is our linear regression equation that we use for gender. And I'm going to change my coefficients to the coefficients for the independent variable will not be the same. So we've got a beta 1 and this one should be beta 2. And now we can have another one for country. 
So we would say y sub i is equal to beta naught plus beta sub 3, the coefficient for the country independent variable, and that's x sub 3, and then we have for the ith observation. Now, each one of these would result in a different r squared. So we would have an r squared when our independent variable is age. We would have a different r squared for gender and another for country. And we could compare these to decide which independent variable gives us a better r squared value. Well, what if we looked at these different r-squared values and discovered that they are all giving us good r-squared values, close to one, or a specific set of them are? What if we combine them into one linear regression equation with multiple independent variables? That would give us an even stronger r-squared value. Let's take a look at that. So imagine we have x1, x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3, each representing a separate independent variable, maybe age, gender, and country of origin. And we want to include all of them into one linear regression model. What we would do is each one of these would have its own coefficient, regression coefficient. So we would write them separately. This would be beta sub 1. This variable would have a coefficient beta sub 2. And then our last variable would have a coefficient beta sub 3. And what we would do is we would say that our y for our ith observation is equal to beta naught, which is our y-intercept, plus beta sub 1, which is the coefficient for our x sub 1 domain, and we would have this be the ith observation, plus beta sub 2, which is the coefficient for our second independent variable, x sub 2, and that would be the ith observation plus beta sub 3, which is the coefficient to our country variable, x sub 3, and that would be for our ith observation. So here, what we have here is a linear regression model with multiple independent variables. And those, they are three. One, two, three. And remember from the previous slide, age, gender, and country. And so if this is, this is then giving us the height. So we're determining the height of an individual with our linear regression model. And each of these eyes represents a different data point. And then we can use our regression to determine what the height would be based on, let me change the font, based on a person's age, gender, and country of origin. So here we have a new linear regression model that incorporates multiple independent variables.